Hello everyone, this is Colleen's channel. Welcome to my platform where I expose myself for entertainment purposes only. Yesterday, or the day before, I found something quite interesting. My report cards from primary to high school. I never have the opportunity to go back and read them because for college applications, you don't really <laughs> think about, hmm, how did I do in grade three? So today I thought, oh my god, I'm just looking at the grades. <laughs> Might as well go back in time and talk about some nostalgic memories. They're all from when I was in Singapore. So I moved here when I was four years old and left when I was 15, which was in 10th grade, the end of 10th grade. The most important years of your high school life in terms of grades are grade 11 and grade 12. And honestly, I don't know where those report cards went. They're from Hong Kong and I just have like numbers, but I don't have actual feedback. But today I'll be focusing on qualitative feedback. What my teacher saw of me. I'm excited. The oldest one I have with me is from grade three. Grade three, I would not have understood the comments from my teacher anyways, because my English wasn't that fluent. So this is basically my first time reading it. Elementary grade three report card. Independence and Challenge Years, June 2009. I remember this teacher. I remember her birthday too. It's January 11th. I just remember all the birthdays. <laughs> Colleen continues to be an eager and enthusiastic learner. She often brings in news on current issues or self-initiated mini projects that relate to what we are doing and shares them confidently with the class. She is a responsible and conscientious student and has made good progress consistently across all areas. Okay, this is quite long, so I'm just gonna skip to the end. She shares her ideas confidently and continues to practice negotiating group decisions and solving problems in a positive way. Continued reading practice and keeping a writing journal over the summer will help Colleen improve her comprehension, English grammar, and writing skills. Colleen should be very proud of her hard work and achievements. It was a pleasure working with her this year and I wish her all the best in grade 4. Wow, that is the sweetest thing I've heard in a really long time. <laughs> no one compliments me like this. I think it's because elementary grade, you know, these report cards are for parents. And when you give bad feedback, parents will freak out and start calling the teacher or the principal. So I think it's pretty sugar-coated, but how so sweet. And this is so true, I really needed to improve, will still do, improve my comprehension, English grammar, writing skills because I was constantly behind with English literature, language it as a whole because I don't speak at home. This teacher valued my attitude more than my ability to master English. Well, I feel like that's all primary teachers. It's more about your persona than your grades. Okay, so grade three was not that bad. Let's move to grade four. Grade four is when you start your MYP. Wait, why am I getting all C's? Is this bad? Oh, that's good. Oh, C is the best. This is very confusing, but C means consistently demonstrates. U means usually demonstrates. S means sometimes. A is area of concern. So getting a C and everything is like the best. <laughs> this is what my grade four teacher had to say. Colleen has continued to work well at the mm, campus. She is liked and well respected by the members of our class. She is often considerate and polite and has a large circle of friends. In both situations, she is able to review her work, explain what she has done, and what she has learned. Overall, Colleen has had an excellent start in grade 4 and it has been a pleasure teaching her in my class. I mean, this is good for me but bad for a video. <laughs> this isn't supposed to be a show off. Maybe, maybe I should dig out some high school, you know, when stuff got really bad. Um, grade 8. I had a very, very, very strict teacher here. It has been a pleasure working with Colleen this first semester in the role of her advisor. Okay, boring. Skipping all the sugary good stuff. Moving on. Occasionally, Colleen would benefit by taking a little extra time to check over her work more thoroughly prior to submission in order to reduce the number of simple errors that she is making. Fact, I still do that. Her desire to demonstrate academic strength through speed must be tempered by, <laughs> by a disciplined approach for accuracy. Basically, slow down. That is so true. 
She has demonstrated her ability to share her ideas and try new forms of expression in a number of classes. It is important for her to take these same risks in other countries and participate more fully in the class discussions occurring in them as well. However, she is aware of this as she mentioned it in her own self-reflection, so I am sure that she will work on this in the coming months. I have every confidence that Kalin will continue to do well and will have an excellent second semester. Grade 8, some problems are bubbling up, but you know, all students have their own problems. My problem was that I needed to slow down and that I needed to take risks. The thing is, this teacher was so strict, I can't take risks. Oh my goodness, what risk are you expecting me to take? Maybe I'll expose my grades too. This is out of 7 in my MYP years, grade 8. My grades for PE was a 6, technology was a 7, mathematics was a 6, science was a 5, oof, yikes, music was a 5. Oh, but I improved after this. My drama was a 6, oh yeah, I was very dramatic. My visual arts was a 7. My English was a 4. Oh yeah, I had no idea how to write essays back then. It was so hard. And my humanities was a 5. My Mandarin was a 5. Okay, not that great. Not very outstanding, but it did improve over the years. I don't know, but something changed. Oh, I see. Um, grade 10 is only like a piece of paper. Usually I have like graphs and feedback from every single teacher that's super long but from grade 10 onwards everything became much shorter so there's like less content. So I'm just gonna go to grade 10 then because grade 9 is like a huge mess too. <laughs> okay so this is from January 18th 2016. Language and literature. Kalei has shown some progress in speaking this term. She is improving her thinking through thoughtful discussions in class. She should continue to work on developing close reading skills. Wow, I love how all my teachers are basically like, read carefully. The thing is, I think I am reading carefully because I know it's my weakest subject. It's just that I don't know how to break things down. I don't know how to analyze. I don't know how to decode like what makes this word special and the purpose, everything. And I had to train my brain essentially in grade 11 and 12 because I just thought you just read and like comment on it. I didn't really understand how language and literature worked but no worries I didn't get a 4 in the end of high school so language acquisition Chinese phase 3 wow I was in phase 3 I was probably much more well spoken in terms of Chinese than I am right now but oh my god he can't even spell my name oh yeah I don't know why but Chinese people tend to spell my name as Kailin I think that's a Chinese name and then Japanese people would spell it as Karin because L is not like considered in the Japanese world of alphabets <laughs> so it's K-L-I-N guys Kalin enjoys learning Mandarin and enthusiastically participates in class she has developed effective strategies to take notes in class Kailin will have to continue to work hard in order to maintain a consistently high standard of Mandarin which I did not do therefore it is not consistent nor high standard. Mathematics extended. Oh yeah, I was in the upper class. It was so tough. Mathematics extended in grade 10 was basically preparation for math HL, which I did not take. I took math SL. Khalid has displayed consistently throughout the semester in her understanding of the content. Developing the connections from basic knowledge to the more complex is critical for continued future success. Basically, think harder. Sciences, I got a 7. I was pretty good with sciences in grade 11, which gave me false confidence to take chemistry HL when I shouldn't have because, well, that didn't go well. Kalin is a meticulous student. She often turns in her assignments well before the two. <laughs> that is so me. Um, I like to get things done because I was so busy with tutor. I had calligraphy, I had karate, I had this, I had that. I can't do assignments last minute, like I want to sleep. So when the teacher would assign an essay or a report, I'd finish it like within that week, within a few days frankly, and I would submit it weeks before the due date. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I get feedback and I can improve it furthermore. I sound like a nerd, but I was just lazy to leave it behind. I just wanted to get it done. Individuals and societies. Oh, this one was kind of confusing too. Ooh, I got a five. 
Clint is very capable and has shown this in some of her research work in the last unit of sustainability. She needs to be more careful with her synthesis of research. Yeah, I do. PE. I got a 5 in PE. What? Three ten in PE was not really like physical physical. It was more like studying how muscles worked, how the brain chemicals making your own workout routine it was quite academic more than you think basically it says i should focus on maintaining my positive attitude to do my best that is so true he was a really nice person though he was all about positivity i think all pe teachers are like you got this you got this you can do it wow excellent marvelous all my teachers from pe classes except for the female teachers were very hyped like they were happy doing their job and i've never met teachers who are so happy to be teaching their class besides pe teachers <laughs> design i got a six oof he was the most strict teacher in the whole school i think he was so picky he was so strict and he'd make like pretty cold jokes and everyone was scared to go to his class and you can't be like a minute late so we would all line up like five ten minutes before class because we were so scared to be late but he gave me a six colin puts a lot of effort and pride into her work and is finding and, and interpreting creative ideas she demonstrated a good understanding of the design process and could further improve her work by sharing ideas with peers for evaluation i don't like sharing ideas arts music i got a seven yay music class in grade 10 it's also quite extraordinary. I would play the flute and symphonic band, but from grade 10, we were learning new instruments. Like I had to learn how to play the guitar and we would like do cover songs. And then we'd also study music, like in terms of keys, harmonies. I don't know how to say, it was very up there, very Ivy style, I must say. <laughs> Colleen has communicated very effectively in order to understand songwriting to the best of her ability. Oh my god, I remember now, we had to write songs. She values the opinions of others, which has produced excellent results. Colleen is encouraged to participate more in class discussions. Okay, so we see a lot of problems here about class discussions. I was not very vocal, I must say, because I feel like that's the year where all the judging comes from. I was not very confident with my English or with like speaking up. Everyone knows me and I'm like friends with everyone too. And there's really no reason for me to just slack off. So I should have improved that. So that's about it for my report cards. I'm really surprised that all these teachers had positive feedback. I think it's because grade 11 and grade 12 was when they would tear you into pieces with all the things they should be doing all the things you need because there's a pressure of going to college there's a pressure of ib results final exam grades definitely could be improved but they weren't that bad i was doing a bunch of volunteer activities and i was being pretty creative with my extracurricular activities so overall i'd say i was a quiet creative nerd i was planning to expose myself but i feel like i just gave myself a huge compliment and I'm kind of awkward now but I really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and like the video see you next time